Hi guys, today we're going to look at solving two-step problems with subtraction. So what we need to remember here is some of those key words that we've talked about so far that tell us that we need to do, use some subtraction to figure out the answer. Let's take a closer look at these problems. Here's our first one. It says Jeff had 58 stickers. He used 10 of them this morning. He gave 10 to his friend Ed. How many stickers did Jeff have then? Okay, now let's look at the key words that tell us we're going to use subtraction. Jeff had 58 stickers. He used 10 of them. So use tells us that some have gone away. He gave, so gave is the other key word that tells us that some have been taken away. And then how many did he have left? Okay, now this is multi-step because he had 58, he used 10, and then he gave another 10 away. There's two parts to this problem. So let's do the first part. 58, we need to take away 10. So that's our first number sentence. 58, take away 10. Let's use the number line to figure this one out. So we can start on 58 and count back 10. So starting here, I already know that that will take me back to 48. So that's my first answer. Now, after he used those 10, he had 48 left, then he gave 10 to his friend Ed. So what do you think our next number sentence would be? That's right, then we start with 48, and then we take away another 10, because that's how many he gave to his friend. Let's use a number line to figure that out. So starting at 48, then count back 10, go all the way to 38. So how many stickers did he have left? He had 38. That is a two-step problem because we had to do two number sentences to figure that one out. Let's have a look at another one. Sparky had 28 balls. He buried 10 in the garden and six behind the garage. How many balls did Sparky have left? First of all, let's look at the key words that tell us it is actually subtraction we're using. So he had 28 balls. He buried... So that means we wouldn't be able to see those 10 anymore. He buried those ones in the garden and then he buried six behind the garage. So behind sort of tells us that we wouldn't be able to see them anymore. The big key word though is how many did he have left? So let's think about the number sentences we're going to have to write to figure this out. So first of all he started with 28 balls. Okay, so 28 and he buried 10, so take away 10. That's our first step to solving this problem. Let's use the number line, or you could just use your head and count back 10. So starting at 28, count back 10 would make us land on 18. So after burying 10, he had 18 left. Then he hid six behind the garage. So he had 18, and then he hid Six, so take away six. How many does he have left? Let's use the number line and count back six. So starting on 18. One, two, three, four, five, six. He landed on, we landed on 12. So how many balls did Sparky have left? He had 12 balls left. That's our answer. So we've, we've used two number sentences to find our final answer. Let's have a look at one more. Now this one's a little bit challenging. You see if you can figure out what we need to do differently with this one. Anne had 65 cents. She found five cents on the sidewalk. She bought a bag of chips for 10 cents. How much money did Anne have then? Hmm. Okay, so let's look at the key language that tells us what we need to do. Anne had 65 cents and she found five cents on the sidewalk. So this word here, found, she found, so that means more, doesn't it? So do you think we're going to take away these numbers or add? Is she going to have more money or less money? You're right, she's going to have more. So this one, actually, we need to use addition there. Let's keep reading, though. She bought a bag of chips for 10 cents. How much money did Anne have then? 
If you buy something, are you going to have more money or less money? Are we going to add or take away? You're right. That means we have to take away. So we're going to start by adding first and then we're going to do a takeaway. So let's write these number sentences. She started with 65 cents and she found five cents, so we add five. That's our first step, let's figure that one out. Oh, I can count in fives there or use the number line. So I know that 65 count on five more would mean that I'd land on 70. So now, Anne, after finding five cents, has got 70 cents altogether. Now, she's buying a bag of chips for 10 cents. So she's got 70 and she's buying something. So we're going to take away and it costs 10 cents. So 70 take away 10 equals. Now I know how to count in tens. So because it's a takeaway, I'm going to count backwards in tens. So 70 count backwards land on 60. So how much money did Anne have then? She had 60 cents. We've taken two steps to solve this problem. Done guys. Now it's over to you. In Edge Creations you're going to to solve some of your own multi-step word problems. Then you're also going to create some multi-step problems for your friends to solve. Good luck.